Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at the Cove Light, made famous by Roger Deakins and used in many movies, including Skyfall, Revolution Road, and Hail Caesar. Roger Deakins is the cinematographer's cinematographer. He's been nominated 14 times for the Oscar, won once for Blade Runner 2046. He's also one of the first cinematographers to have his own website and answer questions from aspiring cinematographers and other, you know, lovers of cinema about how he does what he does. I personally like that his work is never flashy for the sake of being flashy or beautiful for the sake of being beautiful. It always is informed by the story and he manages to shoot typical everyday run-of-the-mill scenes in a way that's always special and really striking. One of the ways that he does this is taking things beyond what a typical cinematographer would do. So you have a person working at a computer or looking at a desk and you know you want soft light so you bring in a 4x4. Four four. You know some people might bring in a 8x8 eight eight and illuminate it, illuminate the person's face. Looks great. Deakins uses a technique in some of his films called the Cove Light where he wraps the entire 180 degrees of the room in unbleached muslin which is sort of a, a warm looking um, canvas style cloth and he bounces either HMIs or tungsten bulbs into that and the reflection up at the person's face is what lights their face. I set out to recreate this and sort of learn how it's used and why it's used. What we did is uh, get a studio, wrap half of it in unbleached canvas, and then set up these four IntelliTech Light Cannon Pros on the floor, just down on the ground, sitting on their yokes, um, angled up at the um, canvas at full flood. This gave us a really beautiful um, filling look of the face, maybe a little bit too filling. I didn't like that it almost looked like near side light or the front of the face was lit. So rather than having to move a single stand or the canvas or anything like that, all I did was pan um, one of the Light Cannon Pros off a little so that it illuminated a different part of the canvas. This was great because it gave me the look I was looking for. I got a really great wrapping light. It's particularly good if the person's looking down at something because the light's coming up off the ground in some ways. It also means that the person can get up, walk around, um, go to different levels, and they'll still be lit. It's not as though this is a, there's one lighting setup for the wide and another lighting setup for the close. This works in every instance because it's the room that's illuminating the subject, not the lights in the room. The curve light works on both stages and location. If you're on a stage uh, you, and you, the stage is big, you could always bring in um, stands like C-stands with the arm um, horizontal so that you can hang the canvas or the muslin on that. If you're on a location and you can't get back far enough, you could do what we did and just tape it straight to the wall with gaffer's tape or um, clips to the windowsill. I actually thought it was gonna take a long time to set up, uh, but it only took us about 10 minutes really because there's no stands involved. You just need a piece of gaffer tape, a roll of gaffer tape. Um, you put the lights right on the floor. We were able to use the Light Cannon Pro's um, daisy chain feature where we use one socket and then loop the power through all three lights. Being Fresnels, we were able to flood them out or spot them in depending on what part of the wall we want illuminated. To summarize, it's a very versatile, um, very beautiful, wrappy, soft lighting style that works in a small location and doesn't take a single stand. That's my look at the Cove Light made famous by Roger Deakins. Check out links in the description for the IntelliTech lights and the canvas or unbleached muzz that we used. In case you didn't notice, this is all green screen. I had the green screen set up in my studio for another project and I couldn't be bothered taking it down and putting it back up. Um, so we can really have anything back there. Thanks very much for watching. Leave your questions in the comments and I'll see you next time. Oh,